So I'm out here with the climber girl. She's down the way that I'm about to show you in a little bit. But we're in the vicinity of a lot of gold mining activity. And there's this great big dump truck here, which will make sense for the operation in just a second. This is my first look at it. All right. <laughs> they obviously had some wear. Not as big as I would have thought, but I'm certainly no engine expert even today, and even less so for the time period. I'm not sure what we're dealing with as far as brand. I'll bet one of you guys already knows. Oh, that is hard as a rock. Interesting. Looks like an auxiliary tank. Yeah, I'm not seeing a brand on it. But uh, why would they need a great big old dump truck? This would certainly indicate to me a very large operation. And I think that's what we have based on this staging area. Let me take you over here. Heading toward the area. This looks like it could be the chassis for a truck. I have no idea to be honest with you though. I would have to say it's a transportation type chassis, but I'm not sure. But what confuses me is what's up around the corner here on a cement platform. You'll see it in just a second. So we can tell right away how it worked, but I'm not sure what it was doing. Now, if you're thinking, okay, we put materials here and then we offload into trucks here. Well, that's not the case. And I'll show you why I know that that's not the case. We can kind of figure out what those trucks were doing based on what's going on up here. They ran from the gold mines, which are probably within a couple miles of this area up in this mountain range to this staging area and they in some form or fashion took loads of gold ore which in a way we can't tell anymore because there's nothing left here was all moved to this area over here this is gonna get to be an eyeful pretty quick <laughs> okay so, it's pretty clear that they had to move the ore through here. I don't know what that cement structure would have been, but I do know that it was bringing ore downhill. And there is what appears to be a water trough underneath it to funnel out moisture. Let's take a closer look. Here we are. And you can see how it kind of narrows and tapers into this and I don't think that the trough here had anything to do with it because that looks like water to me so there was another way they were moving ore now you're thinking uh, why do you think they moved ore down here when they have the trucks well I'll show you I think you'll agree with me this is very obviously an ore bin and that would have been where track was that placed ore in here go out on these rocks so you can kind of see a better view of this part. Some of you have probably already figured out what I'm about to show you here. You're not going to get a good look until I get down inside of it. But what we have is an ore bin that connects to a tram station and you can just barely see right over these rocks over the roof of the main part of the station what's left of the aerial tramway that guided things down the canyon. And this is actually a really pretty area. I mean, take a look at how green this is right through here. There's a waterfall. And there's our ore bin. Obviously a lot of man activity right here. Let's get down to the bottom though. Hey guys. Hello. This, is, this is our friend that you might remember from the Crow Passage mine. Yeah, I haven't been in yet, but I told him I was here with you, checking out this tram station. Measuring old. the boring part. <laughs> the yeah, it's an old diesel engine made by Caterpillar. 
for those who like to nerd out over the cereals, there you go. Oh yeah, looks like somebody's been eating well. Pretty serious stuff because you got to move a lot of equipment here. These girls were pointing out how this was obviously suspending something very heavy. Not the engine, <laughs> but something that needed to be aired. Look at that, guys. Look at that. And like, I mean, we were just saying what a shame it is that it's not in better condition. Ah, would have been great to have seen it. Maybe, I mean, even 10 years ago, it might have still been standing in a lot of ways. So cool. Let's hop down in here. Some shotgun shells. Oh, somebody's recreating in the area. Oh yeah, some stairs, that's practical. So, all of this ends up here, rotated down on aerial tram buckets through the canyon, probably some trestles that uh, transferred from one mountainside to the other, until you get to the bottom where it's refined. All right guys, full disclosure, I have no idea what this does. I'm hoping somebody watching this will be able to tell us <laughs> because I've never seen anything like this. I, I can't even make sense of it. Now this kind of puts a wrench in my theory of an aerial tramway. Uh, I still think that's what they were doing here. Um, I haven't seen any tram buckets down here. I haven't seen any transfer stations. But I did see some tram buckets over there and there are some cables through here as you guys have noticed. So I kind of still think that's the case, but what were they doing moving so much liquid? As you can tell, that was also part of the case here to this point. Hopefully somebody watching will be able to tell us, but right now I have no idea. This is a first time for me. So at the very least, a really cool area to be standing at this time of year, at this time of day. It's really pretty, great breeze. Hopefully we'll find some mines be able to show you a little bit more of what was going on up here in this gold mining country. When was the last time you climbed a wooden ladder? Probably November. Yeah, probably November. Literally like a day before <laughs> I, I know, I know. Well, are we going to campus this thing? I mean, I'm going to try. All right. My foot might get stuck, but we'll see. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Just going for it. Oh my gosh. Nice. That's a, that's a completion. That's a completion. It's almost like you're using your legs. All right, come on. Hey. Come on. <laughs> That's not where legs go. All right. <laughs> Very I told graceful. You it was going to be that one, too. <laughs> That's true. You like to ruin my life. This leg has a little bit more hardware in it. <laughs> not even out of breath. Nice work. This thing has more hardware than my back. Has more hardware than a store. Ha, 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 ha.